Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Stephanie and for today's video, I am going to be planning in my Go Get A Girl catch-all and I'm going to be using Wrong Wrong Dog sticker book. Remember that this is in collab with Michelle and it's definitely a must-have if you're a dog lover and she does have a cat sticker book as well just in case you are a cat lover. And then of course, I have my grid washi and my Zig Clean color doll. So this kind of gives you an idea of what color scheme I'm going to go with. So let's go ahead and take the pages out. And I do have a flip through of this sticker book in case you guys are interested. And remember to use code STEPHANIE10 so you guys can save money on your order. Everything will be linked down in the description box below. And then remember to use code STEPH15 to save on your Go Get A Girl planner. So yeah, like I said, this is such a pretty sticker book. And so I couldn't get not couldn't get but couldn't wait to dive into this one it is just so pretty i love the color scheme on this one so i actually went ahead and got my wrong wrong um hands off my sticker sticker album so i can pre-plan so originally i had picked out this sticker first and so she is wearing a pink sweater so i figured that i would go with the pinks in this sticker book so as you can see there is a lot of pink here, but I noticed that lately I've been doing a lot of pink spreads, especially with like Easter and um, Martina Sticker Company has a lot of pinks in their newest release. So I figured that I would pick another color scheme um, just to kind of switch it up. If it was up to me, I would definitely always have pink in my spreads, but as someone who watches um videos i would think that you guys might get bored of that so i figured that i would go with this color scheme instead and it's still so very pretty so i'm super excited to start with this plan with me so i figured that i could use this wrong wrong girl right over here and just kind of place her off to the side just a little bit okay that was giving me a problem. The dog was kind of stuck to her. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is place her here. And then, and then I think I'm gonna go with this little quote, cool positive vibes. And hmm, okay, so now I'm thinking that I should have scooted, um, should have scooted her over just a little bit. But we are just going to try this other one out. It is a smaller sticker. So hopefully. Oh yeah, this one's going to work much better. So sometimes I don't know until I like start laying stickers down of what I want to do. Okay, so yeah, that works out. And then... Okay, I think I'm going to stick to this side of the page first and get this going so then i did pull these little like dog bone headers i think they are just the cutest thing ever so yeah i'm gonna go with this lighter color and then this one is just gonna go over here so we can have a cute little header yeah as soon as i saw those i fell in love with them and then let's go ahead and place this one. I thought that I would then use this little like notepad type of thing over here in my like bills due section. And now that I think about it, I didn't even lay my washi tape down. Oh my gosh, I am off my game. I don't even know what I was thinking. I guess I just, I was just ready to sit down and film that I didn't even do this. Okay, so let's kind of do that really quick. And I love this great washi. I had mentioned that my friend Shade actually sent these my way. So I'm super appreciative because they have actually been the right color that I've been using lately. And just the right size for this little section here. So I can cover it up and then add my own little script washi. Not script washi, but script little headers. Okay, so yeah, I usually lay it down across the whole thing and then just come in and kind of slice it here in the middle 
so they can be separate because when I first started doing this, I was doing one um, section first and then another one. So then I figured that I could just run it all the way through and then just cut it down the middle. So I can already tell that I'm going to go through these washi tapes pretty fast. So I should actually ask where she got them from so I can pick up my own and maybe they have even like other different colors available as well. I know Plenty Thing did just release some grid washi and it's skinny too. So I am going through the pink one really, really fast. So I'm super scared because yeah, I'm going to be done with that one. Oh, it's actually right here. So yeah, this is has been my go-to lately because like I said, I've been doing a lot of pink spreads. So I've been using this one a lot. So yeah, I'm just so happy that this washi tape actually matches really well with like the color scheme that we're using. So I was pretty happy about that. So I didn't put it here because... I was actually thinking that I could add this little tracker because it has the paws, right? So this is my little um, water intake. And I know it says walk tracker. So you guys can keep track of walking the dog. But technically, I can just... I'll just know that it's my water intake, right? That way we don't have to trim or cover or anything like that. Hmm, I think I might just put it over it. Like, why not? Yeah, it just covers it up perfectly, right? Okay, so, so I think what I want to do now is add my bullet points. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I might be able to go down one more but for now i think i'm gonna leave it alone oh and i was actually going to start doing my bullet points here for my water intake but we have the pause so that actually works out perfectly so then let's go over here on to tuesday and then let's lay our stickers down and then i do have to go back into um into the sticker book because when I pre-plan, I pull out like the basic things that I need, but then I still go back and then add like accent little pieces to fill in the area a little bit better. So yeah, this is basically the structure that I went with. So now I can go back. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Like I said, I might go down just one more, but for now, I think that we're good. Okay, so then, let's see. Let me go ahead and grab the sticker book. Okay, so I was thinking about using these washi strips down here at the bottom. Um, and I might do some layering. I am still not sure. So let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this longer one because there is a shorter piece as well. So I might use like the long piece with the short piece um, with this one and kind of like switch off. So yeah, like I said, I won't know until I start laying things down how it's going to look. Okay, so yeah, basically, it's the width of this. It's a little bit longer. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. It's not that big of a difference, but why not? Let's just go ahead and trim it down. Okay. Sometimes I'm just so scared to go even further because I am scared that I'm going to slice through my page okay so yeah so I have my base and then I was thinking of laying this shorter piece on top of it because I'm thinking of laying this longer piece over here and layering it with 
this one. So let's see if this is going to work out. So yeah, like maybe something like this. And I might try like ripping it to give it that effect of like washi. But I don't know. Maybe we should just lay it down and see how we feel about it. Okay, so yeah, I think that looks really good actually. So yeah, I I don't think I'm just I'm gonna trim it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. And so let's go back to the other one and do the complete opposite. So I love that all of the dogs are here. That's a nice little touch. Okay, so then I'm going to just line it up with the line at the bottom. I should have scooted just a little bit so I don't have to cut off that cute little doggy's face. Or I might just leave it. Yeah, I don't have to worry about trimming it. Let's just go ahead and leave it. Okay, so then let's grab this one. And yeah, I plan to come back and do a pink spread because look at this pink. Pink is my happy place, so I know I'm going to definitely come back, use this sticker with all of the pink. Pink just makes me happy. It is so pretty. It is so girly, and I just love it. Uh-oh, I'm going to cover up the dog's face. So actually, I don't think that was a good idea. With this one, it was because we had like the the print in the back but not and then the faces the little dogs in the front okay so maybe i need to put this one behind and then have this one be in like on top let's see how well the stickers pull up okay see it's kind of pulling away over here and I was actually afraid of that okay I think I got it okay there we go so I think that should be good all right I'm just gonna use the lines to guide me Okay, all right, and now we can lay this down. That kind of gave me a problem at the very beginning, but we, we are gonna be okay. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that actually ended up working out perfectly. And I might have put this one um, further out but that's okay. Okay, so yeah, I am loving this tracker. The fact that they are paw prints is just so adorable. All right, so then, hmm. Okay, so I am looking at this cute little like dog bed with the dog inside because I had actually seen like a dog bed. Okay, so I have seen this one. I'm wondering if I can place this cute little dog inside. I think that that would be adorable. So how about we try it? Okay. So now let's think about the placement. Because I don't want the same thing to happen over here where I said that I should move her, should have moved her over just a little bit. So are we thinking maybe in the middle? Okay, so I think maybe in the middle. And I'm thinking that if there's no room for the quote, I think, I think that's going to be okay. Because even if we move it to the side... Um, I don't think it's going to fit. All right, so let's let's just go ahead and do it. 
I just think it's so cute that he has sunglasses on. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. He looks like the coolest little dog ever. Wow. Okay, so I do have these like little paw prints. So, um, let's see. I'm wondering if I could maybe put them all around here or maybe sprinkle some over here. I don't know. And I think there was only like this color, one of them. I don't know. I don't even know why I just pulled one. Maybe there is more, but um, yeah, I only pulled one for some reason. All right, let's see. So there's one. Okay. I knew I had another one. Maybe another one there. Okay. Let's see. Let's just let's just try it out. Maybe even if we place it over here. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. Okay, so yeah, I really like that. That actually looks really good. Okay, so now let's see about these other paw prints. Okay, maybe we can add one there since it does match. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave that alone. So yeah, so I, this was my starting point, but then I completely went the opposite way. And then these were supposed to go down right here. But then the more I thought about it, the more I didn't like that idea. So that's why these are still here. I decided to just go with my traditional Zicklin color dots and yeah i like that much better so i think now what i want to do is add my script stickers because we are almost towards the end of this so bills do perfect okay we don't need water intake because we decided not to go the extra mile so we do need Apple Watch stats, which go here and over here. And then we have our to-do little headers. So of course, these ones are then going to go inside of the little paw, not paw print, but um, like this little bone. Okay, so yeah, there we go very very cute oh hold on let me see could i add a cute little paw there nope nope that's a bad idea never mind never mind okay so let's go ahead and put this away and let's kind of take a look okay so i feel like we need we need a little something so let's go back in here i feel like there's like, it's a dog sticker book. So, I feel like we need to fill it up with dogs, right? So, let's see. Like, look. There's so many dogs. We have, like, whole body dogs and then just, like, heads. And they are all around. So, here we have some heads, some whole body. Um, Let me see. So, here we have the cool dog that we ended up using over there. Okay, so I like the size of this one. It could maybe go right here. Let's keep looking. We already have the Dalmatian. He's right there. Okay, so yeah, that was basically all of the ones that are clear. So yeah, let me go ahead and pull this one. Okay. 
So I feel like this one would be great right here. Okay, let's just go ahead and place them down. Yeah, that was a great little choice. So what could we do over here? And this one is perfect to like celebrate your dog's birthday as well. So we have birthday girl, birthday boy, and then we have boxes where it like states happy birthday and then the information here to party, happy birthday. So yeah, it really caters to our pets. Um, let's see. Okay, I love this big paw print. Oh, look at these ones. This one actually had a don't forget. And this one doesn't have anything. Look at the dog bowls. Okay, I really like these. Mm, I was looking for the opposite color, actually. But I don't think they're going to have it. No. Okay, let's go back and kind of take a look at those again. Okay, let me go ahead and pick one up and see see how I feel about it. I just feel like it blends in with this color. Hmm. Maybe we could add a little dog here. Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me see. There's just so many good sticker books, not sticker books, but stickers here. I'm glad I saw this because that really inspired this whole little thing and I just think it's the most adorable thing ever. Okay, so here we have the back of the dog, which would make sense since we have the faces here. Oh, I think that would be great. Is this the same one? It kind of looks like the same. This one looks furry, though. Like, you could see the hair, and this one is different. At least I feel like it is. Okay, I kind of like that idea. I... Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Which one is bigger, though? Because we already had this one, the girl, the Dalmatian with the coat, but I felt like this was, like, really small. So I'm glad that I ended up finding this fashion girl, which was a little bit bigger. And then I added the quote. So they might be different sizes. I don't know. I feel like this one would be bigger. So, yeah, I like that he's actually, like, giving its back to us. Okay, there. And then maybe we can place this little bowl over here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I really, really like that. So let's see if we could find anything else. Look at this little dog bone. I'm thinking of maybe placing it inside of there. But do we have one that matches our color scheme? Hmm. We might not. Because why would a dog bone be greenish, bluish, right? That would make sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. How cute would that look? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really like that. That looks really cute. Okay, so I don't know. I think we did a pretty good job about filling the area just a little bit more. Let me see if I have any, maybe any headers over here. 
So we have these ones. They have grooming, brush teeth. And then we have these ones that say appointment. We do have some that are blank. But I thought that I saw some that were filled in. So those are the walk trackers, right? Yeah. We have these ones. They're appointment. Okay, this one. Important. Let me see. Because I'm kind of thinking of placing it here. Yeah, I think I like that. Especially because we ended up filling up this with that quote. And so maybe we can do the same thing over here. And I'll actually be able to write on this one. Okay, so yeah. All right, I actually think that we are done. I am pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it back on the planner so we can see how it all looks together. So yeah, see, just a lot of pink going on. Here we had this muted color scheme. So yeah, this is a little change from all of that girly and pink little vibes. So let's see. Oh yeah, this looks really, really cute. I am obsessed with the dog inside of the bed. I am really loving this right here. I love that the dog is actually giving its back to us with the little food bowl and the bone inside. This was so fun. I really like the way that it turned out. And I hope that you guys do too. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plants. And I'll see you next time.